guys, today we're going to look at how to represent addition and subtraction problems. Let's look at a simple example. If Farmer Fred has three pigs and he bought two more pigs, this is an addition action. We can represent the situation in three ways. First, we can use a part part whole model or strip diagram. Second, we could use a number line. And finally, third, we could use an equation. There are three different subtraction actions that we need to talk about. Physically taking away, separating parts and holes, and comparing. All of these situations are actually 7 minus 3 equals 4, but they're different real world situations. Okay, now let's tackle some third grade problems. Mrs. Cabasos bought a package with 540 positive stickers to put on her students' papers. By Christmas, she had 87 stickers left. We need to represent how to show the number of stickers that Mrs. Cavazos has used. Let's start with the strip diagram. Mrs. Cavazos bought a package with a total of 540 stickers. We always want the total to go on top. Now the stickers that she's used plus the stickers that are left should equal the total. We don't know how many she's used. We do know that she has 87 stickers left. If you understand the strip diagram, the equation is very easy. The simplest equation would simply to be the used, which I'll put a box, plus the left equals the total. Another equation that we can do is to take the total minus the part that we know, and that will equal the part that we're looking for. We can also use a number line to represent the situation. Mrs. Cavazos bought a package with 540 stickers. She used some stickers, we're not sure how many, so I'll put a question mark. And she has 87 stickers left. It would be the same equation. So we can represent the situation with a strip diagram, an equation, or a number line. Let's look at this problem. Dr. Harkey of Vet saw a total of 247 animals last month. Of these animals, 154 were dogs and 82 were cats. The rest of the animals were cows. Represent how to find the number of cows that Dr. Harkey saw last month. Let's start with the strip diagram. Dr. Harkey saw a total of 247 animals. This total would be the sum of dogs, cats, and cows. 154 animals were dogs, 82 were cats, and the rest were cows. We don't know this number, so I'll put a question mark. If you understand the strip diagram, the equation is easy. The simplest equation is simply to say the number of dogs, which is 154, plus the number of cats, which is 82, plus the number of cows, since I don't know that, I'll put a box, equals 247. Another equation that we could do is to take the total, subtract the part that we know, and this will equal the part that we're looking for. Since we know two parts, we have to subtract both of them. We can also represent this situation with a number line. Dr. Harkey saw a total of 247 animals. Of these animals, there were 154 dogs, 82 cats, and the rest were cows. So we can represent the situation with a strip diagram, an equation, or a number line model. Now it's your turn.